Hey everyone, uh, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this week we are delving into some discussion about the relationship between narrative and social change. So, you know, we're thinking in this class about the concept of persuasion in an expansive way. So thinking about persuasion in relation to the values and beliefs that we hold and how that motivates us to act in various ways. And in motivating us to act, uh, the connection that shares to cultivating social change. So thinking this week about, you know, the key role that narrative can play in, you know, one, delving deeper into a greater understanding of our values and beliefs, as well as thinking about the role that stories can play in motivating us to action. So thinking about the role that stories play in, you know, offering us a deeper sense of um, different tales that, you know, we may not necessarily come into contact with on a daily basis and you know how that can expand our worldviews how that can broaden our outlooks in various ways so in thinking about this particular week we are you know considering the narratives of um, one Alicia Garza's piece uh, where she tells the her story of the Black Lives Matter movement and thinking about you know um, obviously this past year uh, the Black Lives Matter movement did not start this past year but thinking about more and more people became familiar with um, you know what the Black Lives Matter movement was this year and this piece was written a few years ago and is so crucial in, you know, offering a greater sense of the relationship between narrative and the social movement. Um, considering, you know, how often social movements and how the stories that are told about them can shift, you know, people's understandings of them. It can, you know, distort at various times the, the goals and objectives of them. Um, so how key it is to, you know, hear from the uh, the leaders of this movement, how they tell the story of, you know, this movement that continues to unfold and how it originated and whatnot. Um, we're also looking at a piece um, from Bhattacharya. So thinking about this one particular author is delving into uh, the concept of home and the relationship that home shares to delving into a deeper understanding of how, how we grapple with our own narratives and the relationship that narrative can share to offering a wider lens on, you know, how cultural and social forces take shape. So, you know, through this particular exploration of home, the author is thinking about colonialism, is thinking about, um, you know, cultural belonging, is thinking about trauma, um, and is thinking about, you know, all of the various ways that, you know, these different forces come together to help us not only gain a deeper understanding of how systemic power functions, but how we can gain a deeper understanding of systemic power by interrogating, you know, one's own social location, one's own cultural location, and, you know, the deeply personal revelations that come with that. So really drawing this intimate linkage between personal narrative and larger cultural infer inferences and, you know, larger understandings yeah. of our social reality. So, you know, this week in our conversations, I want us to each delve a little bit into how we conceptualize home, um, you know, and how we conceptualize our own narratives in relation to the content that, you know, we're exploring this week and thinking about the role that, you know, exploring the narratives that we're looking at this week, how that can help um, you know, inspire us and how, you know, um, gaining, gaining deeper insights through the narratives of others can, um, you know, inspire reflections for all of us. So I'm looking forward to hearing your reflections on uh, the discussion board this week and, you know, delving into more conversations about this linkage between, you know, personal narrative and cultivating social change. All right. Have a great week, everyone.